40 Global Show. Es un gran placer hoy para 11 países aquí en 40 Global Show recibir con nosotros, está presentando su álbum que sale este fin de semana, a Alessia Cara. Bienvenida, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. How you doing? You right? I'm good. Yes, how are you? Welcome to 40 Global Show. Thank you. For 11 countries. Everybody is listening from Latin America and, and Spain. Awesome. Eh, Hola, guys. <risa> Lo primero que me gustaría naturalmente es que nos cuente cómo ha sido su llegada aquí a, a España. ¿Cómo le está tratando nuestro país? It's, it's my first time. I've never been here, so I, I didn't know what to expect, but it's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I've only seen a little bit of it, but it's, it's amazing. I can't wait to explore and, and look around, and it's beautiful. And everyone's been so nice. Es tu primera vez aquí en España, pero tienes muchísimos fans, muchos seguidores. Lo habrás visto en las redes sociales, porque hay mucha gente que te tuitea y que te habla como tu gente, por ejemplo, de, de la cuenta Alesia Cara Spain, que te mandan muchos besos y muchos saludos, aunque no pueden estar en Madrid porque son de Galicia, del norte de España, pero, pero te siguen y te quieren muchísimo. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so cool to see that, you know. I'm from another part of the world, so the fact that people from the other side just, you know, relate to the music and um, enjoy my music is amazing. Very nice. Vienes desde Canadá, pero tu sangre es italiana. Mm. Tienes también una parte de sangre latina, desde, desde Italia. Eh, ¿Eso se nota en el carácter de las personas? I think so, yeah. I think the way I speak, um, even just my values are, are, are very, you know, like European and, and Italian. And, you know, so I, we have this kind of, um, I, th I think, I think Latins and, and Europeans are, or Latins and Italians are very similar. Like the language is similar. The values are very similar. So I, I feel like, yeah, we're, we can connect well. <laughs> Alessia Caracciolo, eh? Yes, sí, yes. Es el apellido exactamente Caracciolo. Eh, compartes apellido artístico con... Otras estrellas de la música que hubo hace años, como por ejemplo Irene Cara. ¿Conociste a Irene Cara o sabes quién es? ¿La conoce? Oh, I do, I don't, I don't, no, no estoy familiar con ella, pero sé que Cara significa face, ¿verdad? Right? <laughs> Irene Cara was a singer in the 80s, really, really number one in the whole world, with a soundtrack for a, a TV series called Fame. Very important oh, I fame. Think, I think someone told me about fame. this, actually. I wanna yeah, live yeah, yeah. Forever. I think I, I, someone told me about this person. I haven't heard any of her stuff, but I, I remember someone mentioning her. Por igual a Alessia Cara no le suena mucho Irene Cara, es artista porque, claro, ella ni había nacido en, en esos años, pero sí le suenan otros artistas que le están apoyando muchísimo en, en los últimos tiempos, como por ejemplo Taylor Swift, con la que has podido compartir ya escenario, como tu compatriota Shawn Mendes, también desde Canadá y gran amigo nuestro de este programa. Eh, ¿Qué significa para ti que tengas un apoyo de esas grandes estrellas que están haciendo campaña para que la gente te vote en los premios y están ahí apoyándote tanto? Sí, es increíble crazy I'm fans of, of these people you know and I, I grew up listening to a lot of these people who say they like my music and stuff so it's amazing to um, see that they are are you know into what I'm doing and I'm, it's, it's crazy to think that now I'm, I'm a peer of these people rather than just a fan of theirs um, and mm. it's it's amazing ¿Cómo descubres, eh, Alesia, que tu mundo, tu pasión es la música? Porque es que con 13 años ya estabas subiendo vídeos a YouTube con tus covers. O sea, ¿cómo descubres tu amor por la música? Um, I, I, I think I always, I always loved music. Um, I don't remember a specific time where it just happened. I think it just was, was natural to me. I was singing since I was like two years old and I've just always been doing it. So I, I don't know a specific time, but I always, I always enjoyed it. Luego vamos a hablar de tu nuevo single, acabas de lanzar un nuevo vídeo para Wild Things, para el corte número 6 de este álbum, que os recuerdo que está a la venta desde este fin de semana, el álbum No Roll. Eh, luego hablaremos de ese nuevo single, pero ¿cuál es la canción más especial para ti? Además de Here, por supuesto, el que ha sido tu gran lanzamiento internacional y tu éxito. Um, I like I like the message of wild things and I like the message of scars to your beautiful as well just because of the, what they're saying um, and I'm also really proud of four pink walls because that was mm. um, the first song that I did completely by myself so it's it's like a special it's like my baby that one <laughs> I really I really like this song I really like this song four pink walls and also stone who is featuring Sebastian Cole mm -hmm. tell me about this 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 boy yeah so Sebastian Cole is a He's an artist and a writer that's signed to my production company. Um, we're both signed to the same production company, so we met through um, the production company, and we started making songs together about three years ago, and we wrote the whole album together. He, he taught me so much about songwriting, and he has helped me so much. So it's his album as much as it is mine, and I wanted to feature him on it. He puesto un hashtag en Twitter, que es Tony Aguilar con Alicia Cara. We got a hashtag, uh, and the fans are sending questions for you. 
Por ejemplo, este de Mar, este tweet dice, ¿cuándo vas a estar aquí en concierto? Alesia, muchas gracias por Here y por River of Tears. Very soon. I would love to be back. Definitely, definitely very soon. Tenemos muchos shows eh, en primavera aquí en España con los 40 principales donde a mí me gustaría oficialmente invitarte a que por favor vinieras a alguno de ellos a tocar en directo. Oh, awesome. Yes, for sure. I would love to. Yeah, thank you. That's very nice. Thank you. Otra pregunta de los fans, en este caso Alessia Camps que dice, eh, si pudieras hacer una colaboración con cualquier cantante, ¿con quién sería? Ah, uh, that's hard. I would maybe say right now Ed Sheeran would be a great one. I love Ed Sheeran, yeah. Es maravilloso. Es un artista increíble. Yo he visto pocos artistas tan completos como Ed Sheeran en toda mi vida, no únicamente en los últimos años. Yeah, that, so that's why he's so good. I have his um, guitar. Well, not his guitar, but he, he has like a line of guitars and I bought, I just recently bought one. Like, but like so I was playing I, it in there. Maybe one uh, pedal loop too, eh? Mm. I've used one one time at a talent show at school. I tried to do it, but he's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> es increíble. No sé si has visto alguna vez a Ed Sheeran como lo hace en directo, pero es capaz de llenar un estadio de Wembley con 80.000 personas, él solo con su pedalina, lupeando lo que va tocando con la guitarra y haciendo pistas cada vez completando la canción. Es realmente, realmente increíble. ¿Cómo increíble es tu disco? Ah, eh? Also you. incredible <laughs> is, is your album, Alessia, con un montón de grandes canciones. Y hay gente preguntando, como te decía, acerca de este... De este nuevo single. ¿Cómo ha sido grabar el vídeo de Wild Things? Estaba preguntando Nameless y dice, ¿cuál es tu parte favorita del, del vídeo? I think I loved all of it. I had all my, my real friends in the video, just my four best friends. Um, so it was fun because we didn't have to act, we could just have fun in real life. Um, it was freezing, I remember, it was so cold that day. We were all, like, so cold and we had, like, light jackets on and it was so cold, but I, I just remember, like, I think the whole thing was, was fun, even though it was cold, we, we spent time together and it was, all of it was fun. ¿Dónde fue? ¿Dónde fue la grabación? Where was the shooting? It was in the, uh, back home in Brampton, in, in, in Toronto too. In Brampton. Yeah, uh -huh. Toronto and Brampton, mixed of both. Pues nada, nada como estar en casa, pero también nada como viajar por el mundo, supongo, y que te traten como en casa. ¿Cómo están siendo estos meses de promoción de tu disco fuera, fuera de casa? ¿Qué es lo más duro? It's been amazing. We were, I was talking about this with my dad, like, recently. Um, you know, Europe has a way of making you feel so welcome. I mean, not that America doesn't do that, but Europe really makes you feel at home, like you said. And I don't know, I, I love coming here. It's really warm, and it reminds me of, of my Italian roots. It reminds me of... of back home in Italy and um well, I mean I'm not back home in Italy I don't live in Italy but you get what I'm saying like where my family's from um yeah so it's it just reminds me of, of that and it gives me that sense of family and, and, and home it's warm you know what I mean if that makes any sense I, I like I love traveling and it's it's amazing to know that my music is being embraced um on the other side of the world eh, ¿Has estado en Latinoamérica? ¿Conoces América Latina? Porque si te parece que en, aquí en Europa somos cariñosos y tal, prepárate cuando vayas a Latinoamérica. Prepárate. Um, no, I've never... This is my first time. This is my first time in Spain, first time anywhere, really, in Latin America, so it's exciting. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time being in, in, like, in any, like, any Spanish-speaking place, so um, I, I've, yeah, I've never been in Latin America. Pues eh, no sé si tienes planes o no, pero estoy seguro de que muchísima gente que nos está escuchando ahora mismo desde México hasta Argentina, pasando por República Dominicana... Guatemala, Ecuador, Panamá, etcétera, están deseando que viajes y que estés allí con ellos. Go, yeah, I've never been, so it's going to be really cool. We haven't done that side of things yet, so it's going to be good. ¿Conoces alguna canción en español? Um, I know the Tengo la camisa negra song <laughs> by Juanes. Juanes. That's, all, that's the Juanes. only one I know. <laughs> yeah, sing, sing. that's, that's tengo... the only. That, I only know that one line, just the Tengo la camisa negra. Tengo that's la camisa it. negra. And that's it. That's all I know. <laughs> Porque negra tengo el alma. What does that mean? <laughs> well, no. Is that the next line? It's the next line. What does that mean? What, is, what does that line mean? I got, I got, uh, my, my, soul my, my, my soul is black. Also. Oh, lime. Oh, okay. I got the, the, the shirt, black because shirt. Because my soul is black. And black. the soul black too. So, soul is la anima? Alma, alma, soul, alma. alma. Okay, negra tengo, anima. Ne yeah. Negra tengo el alma, ¿sí? Negra tengo, negra tengo el alma. So, tengo la camisa negra, sí. negra tengo el alma. 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 No, no sé, alma, alma es pum. No, oh, no, 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 gun. no, no, ok, no gun. Ok, got it, I'm going to remember that. So next time I come, I'll know more of the song every time. Yeah, bueno, pues nos quedamos con Juanes como la canción que Alessia Cara sabe en español. ¿eh? Yeah. Vale, para cuando vayas a Colombia, ¿eh? When you go to Colombia, exactly, you, you can sing it. this uh, from Juanes. Yes. Um, <laughs> otra, otra pregunta de Chris dice, ¿te gustaría escribir una canción con alguien en especial? Yo creo que ya me sé la respuesta. Um, 
Yeah, well, I would love to write a song with Ed Sheeran too. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> of course, or Drake would be cool to write a write a rap song with Drake. Ed no, Sheeran? I'm kidding, I can't rap. But Ed Sheeran would be. No, Drake es también con bastante tuyo. ¿Qué está pasando en Canadá últimamente? Es increíble. Hemos llegado a tener aquí en España en nuestro top 40 mm. las cinco canciones del top 5 de cinco artistas canadienses. Ah, that's amazing. Yeah, I don't so know. Like... <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, I'm I'm proud of us. That's, it's so great to know that. It's amazing. Bueno, más preguntas de los fans, ¿vale? One more question from the fans. Mm -hmm. um, ¿Cómo definirías a tus fans de aquí? Y por favor, podrías volver a Barcelona de tour, dice Ana. Ella es de Barcelona. Yeah, I would love to go to Barcelona. Yes, like anywhere in Spain, anywhere. Like it's just so beautiful. I'm in love with it already. So definitely, I would love to to meet them. They're so amazing. A lot of the a lot of like there's like group chats online, and a lot of them are from Spain, and so it's amazing to 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 be here. And I hope I get to to meet some of you. Thank you for everything. Tengo una pregunta que nos llega desde, no sé, fuera de España seguro, por la forma en que lo ha escrito. Hillary Mises dice, eh, ¿qué es su cosa más favorita de estar en el escenario? <laughs> Pero bueno, lo hemos entendido. <laughs> yeah, there's many things. I like, I love when I'm on stage and then I see everybody singing. That's my favorite part, just seeing everyone sing the words. Y Juanjo pregunta, ¿qué se siente eh, cuando ves que tu canción suena en todos los lugares. It's amazing. It's so it's so weird. Sometimes it happens unexpectedly and I'll just be walking and I hear it in a store or on the radio and that's the best feeling ever. It's amazing. Tengo muchas más preguntas, pero no más tiempo, pero te voy a hacer una última pregunta eh, de parte de Formation que dice, ¿qué tal te suena un dueto con Tori Kelly? Otra gran promesa como eres tú. Gracias. Um, yeah, I would love to. She's she's amazing. She's my friend, and I think she's great. So I would love to do something with. Her. Bueno, aquí tenemos el álbum, el disco que este fin de semana se ha puesto a la venta. Gracias por venir a presentarlo aquí a 40 Global Show para España y Latinoamérica con con No Irol. Y cuáles son tus planes ahora más inminentes? ¿Qué te toca hacer dentro de estos días? A um, few days. I'm just going to be traveling around Europe. I'm um, just doing promo, like radio stuff and and stuff like that. And then next time I'll be back in Europe. I'll be doing some shows, which is exciting. Uh -huh. And hopefully I'll come back to Spain and, and do a show. So. Please, please, yeah, please. Yes, we need yes. it. We need if you'll come, if you'll go, we then need yes. It. No, no, I will okay. be in the first row. Okay, perfect. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. Estaré por supuesto en primera fila ahí como fan que soy de este disco. Ya te he dado la enhorabuena antes. Eh? I told you before. Once again, congratulations for the album. It's amazing. Thank you. We love it. And go to all around Europe, go to another stations. But when you come to Spain, this is your home. 40. Principales. I've been trying Remember. to say this. Can I say something? I'm in Spanish because I've been learning. Okay, ready? <clears throat> okay, Tell me on. if it's good. Come okay. on, come on. So it's 40. Prin 40 principales or principales? No, principales. Principales. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah ready. Principales is Italian. I know, I keep thinking no, Italian. Italian. Okay. Niente. Italiano, niente. No, niente, okay. Italiano, tu padre. Sí. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. Listen to this. I'm so, I'm so great at Spanish. Ready? <clears throat> Hola, amigos. Soy Alessia Cara. Estoy muy feliz de estar aquí. In 40 principales. Impresionante! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let me kiss you. Let me kiss you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Gracias. Alesia, muchas gracias a Alesia Cara. Gracias por estar aquí en 40 Global Show hoy desde los 40 principales para 11 países. Oh, yeah.